Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this year's basketball season. It's today's opener for the Lady Knights. Pits uh, our Knights against the Panthers from Buckeye Local. JV game just got over. Uh, tight game most of the game. L uh, Lady Knights lost, but in a close one. Single digit lost. Um, and normally, I'm just the helper, but Mr. Coburn this year decided to coach girls basketball. You may see him standing just about 15 feet in front of me on the side here watching the girls warm up. So uh, this year we're going to be a little bit different. So I have a guest announcer, no stranger to the alum, alumni, former alumni, right, oh, or yeah. a current alumni, Mr. Mikey Anderson, graduate in 92? 94. 94. 94. 94. Welcome aboard, Mike. Appreciate you. I appreciate it. Um, he's going to be chiming in. So uh, we are just about set to get this one underway here as the Lady Knights host the Buckeye Local Panthers here at George J. Kunzler Memorial Gymnasium in the opening game. Uh, with COVID and everything, has been crazy. Didn't know who he was going to play. They've only had a couple practices. Just thankful they can have something, man. These kids, are they work hard and it's good to see him at least get to play a few games, if any. Absolutely. And um, we certainly, uh, I can't wait for this thing to go away, man. I'm, I'm rooting for that virus, or the uh, vaccine, man. Absolutely. So we are just about set here to get the national anthem and get this one tipped off. Um, as I mentioned, this is, I think, Buckeye Local's fourth game I heard. And it is the Lady Knights opener. We've had some different um, uh, restrictions and isolations and quarantines and off and on for this this whole season so far on our end. So the, our team's only practiced a couple times, right? Yep. Yep. They went down for, what, 10 days? Yeah. They had one positive test. They did. They had one of the team members, I think. Or no, actually it was a coach. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, we were quarantined and uh, haven't had much here. Now we're going to do the anthem. We'll be right back. All right, we are just about set to get this one tipped off. We got the uh, opening starting lineups for each team coming up here, and then we'll get this one going as uh, opening night here. Or actually, opening afternoon, but basically the opening game of the season for the Lady Knights. That's a most dark outside already. <laughs> yeah. It's 1.30. Yeah, it's 1.30. Number one perk to this job so far is these seats. Oh, isn't it nice? Yeah, the bleachers are rough. Oh, they are rough. Listen, my back can't handle them anymore. Uh, I wasn't so skinny. <laughs> you know. Yeah, so the, the actual, the, the boys are actually playing their opener today, too. They're out at Indian Creek game time. 
I think it's 1 o'clock for the JVs, right? Yes. And then uh, varsity game after that. So both teams getting their first game of the season in today. We've got a veteran varsity team here. I see a lot of seniors. There's four seniors right there. Just got announced. Yeah. And there's the five. We've got a starting lineup of all seniors. Wow, Great. when's the last time that's happened? It's been a while. I would think. Never, if I could remember. Whew, I don't remember. Five good players, man. Five seniors been with the program, putting in the time. See, Probably back when Otis and them played. It'd probably be the last time I could remember. Yeah. Timmy and Tommy and Aaron. and Ryan Winstall mm -hmm. and Bobby uh, Haynes. Haynes. Yeah. yeah, that was. The dynasty. The dynasty, yeah. Otis. All right, so looks like we're going to have Anderson. I don't know. I don't have a roster. Um, i got to get a roster real quick. And uh, we're underway here is Kendall Thomas. Has it left side. Dribble drive. Gets her own rebound. Puts it up. No good. Too strong. Rebound Buckeye. Here we go the other way. I'm not sure what Buckeye's record is. I got to do that as a uh, turnover. We'll give the ball back to the Lady Knights. Riley Kinsey's going to bring it down for the Knights. Looks like Knights run a little weave action, a little motion. Oh, good look down low to Kennedy Contral. She's going to put it up. Does not make it, but does get fouled. And she'll go to the line for two, Mikey. <laughs> Most important part of the game right here, these foul shots. Oh, man, how many games have been won or uh, lost on this? Even at the, any level. This is a coach's nightmare. Oh. Batting layups. Yeah, for sure. All right, shooters roll. Red Knights uh, on the board first. one nothing as Kennedy makes the first of two. Makes them both. So, Red Knights opening up with a 2 nothing lead. As the Panthers look to answer, good ball movement by the Panthers. Red Knights look like they're in a zone. Strong off the back and out of bounds. Last touch by Buckeye, and the Red Knights will take over on uh, the end, Buckeye's end of the floor. March it back down, and... Uh, here we go again. It's Kinsey brings it across half court. A little weave action. Ooh. Kinsey tracks it down on that. Almost a turnover there. Long pass across the court. Anderson with it. Jensen Jackson on the wing. There's Kinsey with it. Dribble drive, kick to Jackson. Jackson down low to Anderson. Anderson double team back out to Jackson. Good ball movement. Good vision by Thomas there. Taking a strong to the hole. No, off the front of the rim. Rebound Panthers. Going the other way. Poked out from the backside by Anderson, but the Panthers will retain it. Shot from the corner. Off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound Kennedy. Cottrell. Slow it down. Kendall Thomas going to walk it down. Set the offense up. Good hustle so far by the Red Knights. Too. Yeah, I've seen a lot of scrappy play, you yeah. know what I mean? That's minimal, good. Minimal, Kennedy. Minimal practice, that's that's good. Yeah. Like I said, I think we did, what, two? Yeah. We've mentioned that before, but right. Red Knights playing well. Lady Knights, 2 nothing right now, 5.43 to go here in the opening quarter. As they stay in the zone, forcing Panthers. Oh, there's a good look inside, kick back out. Deep ball, three on the way, no good off front of the rim. Side of the rim, rebound. Anderson's going to kick it over to Kendall Thomas, and here we go in transition. Nice no-look pass. Jackson all alone in the corner, no good. Good shot, good square up. Rebound Panthers, they come quickly the other way. Up and no good off the back of the rim. Too strong on the putback turnover. Here we go, wide open three, and she drains it. 
to answer, and the Lady Panthers take a 3-2 lead here over the Knights. Kinsey with it. Dribble drive, going to the hole. Puts it up off the glass, no good. Contact, nothing called. Good save by Buckeye, but straight to Kennedy Cottrell, and she's going to get fouled. So Renate's going to take it out underneath their own hoop. I like these girls for you, man. They're scrappy. Oh, man. <laughs> look at them. I'm telling you. Uh, some of them look a little winded. Oh, man. I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm down here yeah. on the uh, – we're down – I should say we're down here on the court floor, and I see a lot of panting going on. Of course, yeah. you know. I'm always winded, so I'm, I'm used to it. <laughs> well, that's to be expected, though. I mean, how many <laughs> – how many – really, with two practices, how many sprints are you doing? Yeah. How many – you know, it's conditioning is – It's key for this. Yeah. Jackson alone, no good. Nice. Oh, good re backside rebound by Kinsey. She saves it. Out to Kendall Thomas. Thomas dribble drive off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound Panthers. Here we go the other way. Good Jackson. Jackson defense. Good hands outside. Keeping the ball out. Red Knights. Looks like the Red Knights switched to a man. Aaron shot, no good. Rebound by Kinsey on the backside for the Lady Knights coming the other way. Here we go. Oh, nice cut by Jackson. Oh, just short arm or short, short side of the hoop. Wow, good pass too as uh, Buckeye comes down the other way, coast to coast, and puts in the layup to take a 5-2 lead here in the first. Over to the Lady Knights. Thomas has it. Thomas for three, off the rim, no good. Backside rebound, Kinsey throws it up, no good. Gets her own rebound, but loses it to Buckeye, and here they come the other way to try to add to their lead. Uh-oh, wide open, somebody lost somebody in transition. She misses the layup. Boy, that'll drive you nuts. <laughs> huh, as yeah, a coach? I, I told you, man, it's, it's, it's unreal. So, Third team foul on Buckeye. Red Knights still yet to have a first foul. That may come into play here as we get later into this half. That, that bonus situation there, about halfway there, to put Red, the Red Knights in the bonus. And free throws, man, will kill you or, or win, win you the game. I'm sure some of these coaches appreciate these masks. They can uh, mumble some. Explicits without being seen. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure that happens. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the only good thing out of those masks. <laughs> I know. I can't stand wearing them anymore. I think a lot of people are like that. Yeah. But yeah, I think uh, I think you're right. How many coaches in the country are thank <laughs> thanking yeah thanking heaven that yeah. uh, they got it? And they can say what they want mm -hmm. without being seen on camera or right. whatever. All right, here we go after the quick timeout. As Kinsey brings it down. Lydic into the game now for the Lady Knights. Here's Thomas, Hill head fake, drive down the middle of the lane. That's her, that's her shot. She misses it, but she does get fouled. She'll go to the line for two. Eerily quiet here when there's no yeah. activity, right? Yeah. I mean, we're down to just two people. I mean, she misses the – Thomas misses the first. I think we only get two tickets per player. Correct. You know, so a lot of restrictions this year on the indoor sports. Yeah, it's rough. A lot of the grandparents, I know, I, it, it's, it's hard for them not to be here. and I don't blame them. I mean, it's just one of them things we got to fight through. It is. Salma second on the way, no good, a little too strong. Rebound Buckeye, here we go the other way. Had a lot of people, and that's one of the nice things that I'm glad we get to do this and stream it, and there's still ways that right. people can 
uh, tune us in, and we certainly appreciate you guys. If you are tuned us in, uh, either on the NFHS network, if you have Jefferson County Cable, you can go on to Channel 9 and watch it. We're streaming it live there, and I think we're adding it now from our website. On uh, If you click Listen Live, click the headphones, it'll take you to the site. So here's Thomas on a – I'm sorry, Riley Kinsey on a nice backdoor cut. Good vision. She makes it, and we're not at that – well, almost not up. We're down one now. We'll cut the lead down 5-4 Buckeye. Yep, Lady Knight staying in that man, Lydic. Pressure on the outside wing. Little good look down low, good quick turn. Misses, rebound Lydic, and when she's gonna get tied up, we're gonna get a jump ball, and that's probably gonna stay Buckeye, I think. Because the Lady Knights won the opening tip, and it does. It's Buckeye will take it out underneath their own hoop. Minute 58 to go here in the first. No problem on the inbound. A little dribble drive to the hole. And ball's on the ground. We're going to get a foul on somebody on the Knights. I don't know who. We called it on 12. And I think it's 12. Maddie. Maddie, yep. Maddie Anderson's going to pick up her first foul. Actually, the Lady Knights' first foul of the game. Mm -hmm. So her first team first as Buckeye inbounds the ball. A little quick give and go. Good shot, no good. Errant shot is Riley Kinsey. I'm sorry, Kennedy, Kennedy Contral gets in there, and I think they call it jump ball. And the Knights will take that over. And so here we go. Jensen Jackson going to assume point as she brings the ball across half court to Anderson. Anderson looking to dish. Good backdoor cut again. There's Liddick. Twice, two plays in a row. Same backdoor cut. Good vision. Nice pass. One. One make this time we miss the layup, but Lytic will go to line for two. Just a hair too much under the rim she was. Yeah, yep. A yep. little quicker pass or a little. Their momentum got her going too far. Yeah. First shot up and shooters roll. We're tied up as Lytic makes the first. 5-5 five, five here. Almost at the end of the first. Minute 36 to go. Some substitutions coming in for Buckeye as Lytic will shoot her second upcoming. Chance to take regain the lead on the make. Nice shot. Nice touch on that one. Very nice touch. Good arc. And the Lady Knights take a 6-5 lead. Here we go. Oh, wow. Deep three ball from Buckeye to regain the lead to 8-6. There's Anderson. Nice strong drive to the hole. She's going to put it up. And is it going to be an and one? They're going to call a jump ball. Ooh, I thought that was a foul. I thought there was going to be an and one as she got a shooter's roll and went in. But they're going to say there was a jump ball before. Wow. Know about that one, huh? I don't either. <laughs> Her momentum never stopped. I mean, she was. I, I didn't see a tie up. I didn't either. So nonetheless, the Red Knights turn it over. Oh, good hands by Kennedy Cottrell. She's coming the other way, and she will make the layup to tie this ball game back up. Eight eight. Rusty's fired up about that good layup she just made. Oh yeah, I would be too, man. <laughs> It's Buckeye. Not sure. Okay. Ball gets tipped out of bounds. Was it? No. Nope. She couldn't save it in time. Tried to bounce it off Kennedy. Not in time. And uh, Buckeye will turn it over. Lady Knights coming the other way. Red Knights are moving good, man. They are moving good. They're playing good. As everybody kind of ran away from the inbound there. I'm not sure what happened, but the Knights, Kendall Thomas comes back and gets it, and we'll set the offense up. Good hustle by both teams, really. Yeah, absolutely. There's Anderson again. Kick out. Good quick first step by Jensen Jackson. You see, she got a really good quick she first does. step. She's got a nice touch from outside, too, with that shot. She does. Got a nice rotation on the ball. Makes a lot of M3s.
Good inbound. Nice inbound play to Thomas. Oh, good look down low. Here's Liddick. I'll tell you, the I, vision by the Knights. Yeah. I, you know what? For two practices, I'll tell you what. They are playing really well as the pass goes through the hands and out of bounds. And then from Buckeye, they'll turn it back over to the Lady Knights. As um, we are playing some really good basketball. Good cuts, good vision as Thomas throws one up at the buzzer. It is not going to be good. And so the Knights and the Panthers will be tied after one here at George J. Cooser in the opening game for the Lady Knights. Wow. Some good basketball. Yeah, I mean, they're aggressive and taking quality shots. You know, I like the ball movement. I like the, uh, the footwork. You know, defensively, it's so easy to get into that uh, use your hands, just reach because right. you're out of position, get right. a foul type thing, and not, not move your feet. From not playing and everything. Yeah, I mean, I I think, wow. I, I'm, I'm encouraged. That that was a really good opening quarter, I think, especially, you know, with the lack of ability to practice. And right. this is our first game. It's like midseason form. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, midseason form. I feel like with these headphones on, I should be saying, like, sidecar. Or, you, know, <laughs> you guys get me all in football. I can trips to the right. Yeah, those things will, th these things will do that to you. You know what I mean? <laughs> or that's not his name. You know? Yeah. You know, you should. <laughs> Juju Banks, man. Yeah. Juju Banks got a lot of quarters in. I don't know what the eligibility is of him. Yeah, I know. You know? All right, so the Knights, Lady Knights, will take po the possession here in the second. As looks like Buckeye's going into a man. Anderson will inbound it to Thomas. Thomas going to run the point here. Good dish. There's Jackson. Foul line extended. There's, ooh, good dish down low. Thomas are up. She hits it. Nice, nice shot, shot, huh? Yeah, absolutely. I used to love that shot when I was playing. Really, it's always a tough shot from that corner like yeah. that. You know, you're playing horse or pig or something. Oh, That's yeah. a good one. I used to use that. Here we go, Anderson. Oh, thought about the three. Dishes it to Kennedy Cottrell. Kennedy's going to take it to the hole. Up strong off the glass. No good. Rebound Buckeye going the other way. Oh, do we got a foul? I thought she just tripped. Like she reached in there. I'm going to call that on Thomas. Kendall's first, team second. Buckeye's got five. Two more, we're in a bonus. That's going to be an issue. That's where them foul shots come in key. Take yeah. advantage of their mistakes. Absolutely. Jackson out on the wing, Garden. As they, Lady Knights will stay in that man. Contested shot. Did that go in? It did. Looked like a, wow. So we're all tied up here again. Job by Jackson to go get that one. What a crisp pass. Here's Thomas all alone for three off the glass. Oh, backside rebound by Anderson. Nice job. Good, job. Good position. Yep. Easy put back, and the Knights regain the lead. Nobody on that backside. Oh, turnover here again. Here comes Kennedy. Watch backside. Watch backside. Okay, good dish. Here's Thomas passing, giving it up to J Jackson, who does not get it to drop. I think the ball might have been tipped. I think so. But last touch by Buckeyes, it went out of bounds, and so the Knights will retain possession. Riley Kinsey going to take it out underneath their own hoop. There's Thomas on the backdoor cut. As she gets it, scoop it up, no good. Goes to the floor, no foul, and Buckeye gets it and goes the other way. Letting them play underneath, that's for sure. That, yeah. Another three ball on the way. No good. Too strong. Quick shots. Not a lot of offense here. It was like quick three and boom. Here's Anderson kind of loses it, but regains it, and Thomas is going to let one fly now. Ooh, Red Knight's cold from the arc. Huh? That was from downtown. Too. That was downtown. Yeah. I, I don't know. Not sure how that's not Red Knight ball here. I'm not sure either. They're saying that uh, Red Knights touched it last, but 
Not exactly sure how that is either, but Buckeye's going to take it down here for this possession. 5.55 to go here in the opening half. Real nice 12-10. A little more of a half-court set this time. A lot of uh, run and gun there, there for a few minutes, you know. Yeah, I think oh, good head fake. They're gassed. Yeah. That's expected. Yeah, and so you know, you, you see how deep the team is. I think we got some guys that can step in and contribute some minutes to give some breathers to some of these guys. You can't play. You know, everybody needs a little breather. It's a lot of minutes on the floor. Thirty-two. Act actually brought all the JVs up. They did. Yeah. As Andrea Reed's getting some, I see she's in there now. So we do have some people going to get some playing time, give some minutes to some of these guys to rest. There's a long three on the way. No good. Rebound Anderson. We're going to get a foul on Buckeye. That's right over the back. For sure. Yeah, these underclassmen coming up, they got a, they got a good core girls coming up. And they do. I think they're going to be good for – you know, one thing I noticed about the uh, the JV game is that the unselfish play. I mean, oh, there's yeah. a lot of a lot of you know give it up to the next person, and sometimes that's a bad thing if they give it up too much. But they seem to have a good balance right now. Those girls really did well their seventh, eighth grade year. And yeah. So it's going to be a little learning process for them now. It's you know it's to deal with the big girls, the seniors that can move better and understand the game better. And sure. Good job, nice pick. Here's Anderson with it. Good pressure by Buckeye as Anderson still has it. Just looking to dribble drive, I'm thinking five seconds, but <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, wide open, Andrea, nobody on her. Takes it strong to the hole and Reeves will score. Nice job. It's Andrea Reeves just checking into the game, contributes right away with a two points layup as Knights open up a four point lead over Buckeye. And the ball goes out of bounds, last touch by the Panthers, and so the Knights will have another possession. That's a good half-court set. Yeah, absolutely. Comes Kinsey with it. Anderson to Lytic. Finds Kinsey in the elbow. Kinsey dribbles, drives, kicks it back out. Here's Jackson, thought about it. Passes on the three to Anderson. You know, we do a nice job of squaring up. Oh, nice move by Anderson. A little dipsy do, huh? They're just cutting really well to the basket. They're, they're getting good quality shots. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you what. We we look good. Good communication, Lytic. I can hear you down here. Ball, ball, ball. As there's a little Kareem Abdul hook shot. <laughs> they just seem real relaxed. And they do. And Everything's patient. under control. Patient, control. Not playing frantic, I mean, but yet aggressive. I mean, they look good as Andrea has it at the top. Gives it to Jackson. I like the patience. Like you said, good head fake at time. I think we're going to get an illegal pick as uh, Jensen Jackson kind of ran in. I could see that one from here. Yeah, moving a little too much. Yeah, it's kind of like body checked her a little bit. You know what I mean? So... Three thirty-four to go in the second quarter. Sixteen ten, Lady Knights. Red Knights look like they went back to a zone now. Coach Hodgkiss mixing it up. Nice job. I think we got some, like you said, gas player. Ooh, turnover. Good job. Up ahead, quickly. Here comes Thomas. She goes up high with one hand. Little LeBron there or something, right? but does not make it, and quickly buck out of the, oh, good jump stop. Wow, that was a nice play. Nice. Used the glass and everything, just yeah. didn't get the roll. Yeah. So 16, should be 16-12 now. Wide open. And oh, we're gonna get wow. shoved. As Kennedy went up, misses the layup, but like you said, we're gonna get a foul. Last year, Kennedy, she's tough, man. She's on the ground a lot. Oh, she's a scrapper. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> she ain't afraid to get dirty. No. Nice shot by Kennedy. Makes the first of two. 
as uh, the Knights should be in the bonus now. That is the seventh team foul on Buckeye as the second one's up on the way. Almost got shoot to roll. Backside rebound by Reeves. Bam, and she scores two more, and we're 19-12 as Buckeye quickly down the floor. Her mom and dad just left to go to Brant's game. Out yes. There at Indian Creek. Yes. Well, you can always watch this on, yeah. uh, you know. I'm sure maybe one of them has it on their phone. Andy might. <laughs> Use your phone to watch us. Mm. TV. We got, we got it all way. All way covered, man. As we do have a foul. Let's see who they call that on. It's going to be on the Knights. It's gonna be them, they say 4-4 four, four or just 4? Uh, that's on Lytic 4. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Lytic 2nd. Team 5th. First shot up. And shooters roll. Goes in. 19-13. The Lady Knights? Their JV team, they shot the foul shots really well that first game. They did. They did. Second one, no good. Rebound by Thomas quickly up ahead to Kinsey. Almost over her head. Kinsey tracks it down. There's Lydic. Oh, the banks are open. Lydic with the bank. And <laughs> I'm laughing because I see the reaction. <laughs> like you did, we're right by Buckeye's bench. Their coach is just like, yeah. oh, come on. That's the word but mask. we'll take it, man. The, the banks are open. The mask came and played there. I think he said something that <laughs> we can't say on the air. Uh, I think you might be right. Uh, so, but, oh, my gosh, Lydic picks up another foul. That's her third. She's got to come out. And they're going to put in Anderson. The younger Anderson. Good communication by the Knights. It's probably Come a good here. stat. There's what four Andersons on one team. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I don't uh, think that's ever happened before. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Crazy. There's even a couple on the boys. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Going to be a foul on Kennedy this time. So now both teams are in a bonus as Buckeye goes to the line. Shot up and good. 22-14, Lady Knights. Minute 48 to go here in the first half. Second one up. Boy, she don't waste any time, does she? Nice touch, dude. Yeah, good shot. Oh, there's that. I love that. New Mick. That, that uh, you know, off a of make at play. I mean, everybody probably runs it. We got a good shot, but didn't go in, and Buckeye quickly down. They miss. Rebound by Kennedy. Ooh, almost a carry there. Yeah, get back to slow it down, work for a good shot. That's right. Go back to the half-court set, settle down. As Thomas has it, foul line extended, back to the point, and Anderson. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not the younger Anderson. That's Maddie. Came back in. Mm -hmm. They look a lot like Oh, though. yeah, they do. Yeah. There's Thomas, turnaround jumper, no good. Uh, but we do have a foul, so good line for two. As she was in the process of shooting, we're about a minute to go here, minute one exactly, before the first half is done. Thomas front side here. Makes the first. Boy, is that deafening? Like, people were talking, and then she took one dribble, went to go shoot, and it was like, it's nothing. <laughs> You're the pin drop. <laughs> that's crazy. I think that's worse than having fans, don't you? Yeah, it's like a practice. Yeah, you know, it's like. Anybody here. Yeah, I mean. Oh, man, good touch. Both of them swished. Makes them both. In our time, when we watch games, like with the bleacher creatures and how madness it was. I remember the Bleacher Creatures. Oh, you left school early, get your face painted in the hallway. <laughs> yeah. Some you know, games were nuts. Yeah, they were Good nuts. Good times. But clean, you know? Oh, yeah. 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 A lot of good games in that old gymnasium. That's oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Little quick shot there. 
as the Knights turn it over. Not sure what Buckeye will do. So you play for one, try to get a quick score. We'll see. Ooh, close to a travel there. Good defense by the Lady Knights. And that one, did that hit the wire? It was close. Good scrap by Bradley Kinsey. She hits the floor. I worry when she does that because she's had some knees and oh, yeah. stuff issues. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I said, she's a catcher, a pitcher. She, she ain't afraid to get dirty. Oh, no. So I think we're going to have a jump ball call there, which uh, possession goes to the Knights. So here we go. I would think uh, Coach Hoss is going to play for one. But you never know. Run the offense. If you get an easy bucket, then take it. If not, oh, there it is. Nice, nice. given. Man, good vision. Nice. Huh? Wow, the Knights playing at a high level right now. You never know they only had two practices. 26-15, last shot up and no good. good first half. As the Lady Knights will take the lead into halftime, 26-15. No pizza. No concession stand. <laughs> no pizza, no concession no. stand, no pay, nothing. Pay this job's terrible. Uh, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is water. You want a water? Oh, I'm good. I got one. Here. Okay. All right, we're going to take a 10-minute break for halftime, and we'll be back. But the video will be up. But it's weird with this one. I can't control commercials and stuff. So, yeah. All right, you'll be seeing the floor, but we're going to be back in about 10 minutes, and we'll get the second half underway.
And welcome back here to George J. Kunzler Memorial Gymnasium as the Lady Knights went into halftime with a nine point, I'm sorry, 11 point lead, 26 15 over Buckeye. Uh, the Lady Knights are led right now by Kendall Thomas. She's the leading scorer with six, although we have two. Uh, Kennedy Cottrell, another senior, has five, and then Lydic has five, and then Andrew Reeves, a freshman, has four. So pretty good uh, balance with uh, spreading out the offense there. Absolutely. Moving the ball nice, getting good quality shots, and it's paying off. It is paying off as um, looks like uh, Christian from Buckeye, number one, is the leading scorer. She has four. Um, I'm looking at quarter by quarter, 8-8 uh, eight, eight after one, but the Red Knights outscoring Buckeye by 14 in the second to take that 11-point lead. And here we go in the uh, third quarter. Knights come out in the zone, looks like to me. Huh? Defensively, Christian has it, almost got, Kennedy almost picked her pocket. And turnover by the Panthers, and Anderson has it coming the other way. She's going to give it up to Kinsey as here we go for our first possession of the second half. Second half. <laughs> I'm like half football still. I know. Third quarter. <laughs> it is second half, but, right. you know. Ooh, almost to travel. Kennedy takes it strong to the hole up off the glass and makes two. Nice job by Riley, Riley Kinsey. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Kinsey, not Kennedy. Good dribble drive by Kinsey. Sorry, Kinsey. That's why you're here, man. <laughs> you got to correct me. I got them Hawkeyes. <laughs> We're going to get a foul here, see who that's on. Kendall. A little reach. Yep. Just got caught. Going to be Kendall's second, team first. First foul of the second half by either team. Buckeye takes it out underneath their own hoop. Good look down low. Here's a kick out. McKeever misses. Rebound by uh, the Knights. Here comes Kendall Thomas setting up the offense. Dishes it to Kinsey. Anderson on the point. Out to Kennedy. Contra way out. Foul line extended. Here's Kendall alone, all alone for three. She's about due for one of those. Yeah, Hard rebound. off the back. Good rebound by Cottrell. Goes up strong, does not make it, but they're going to say it's on the floor, no, not shooting. Not um, sure about that one. That is on McKeever. I'm sorry, Dockery. It's on Dockery. That's her third, so she's going to come out of the game. Nice little give and go. Kendall misses the layup. Ball's on the floor. Right, Red Knights scrap, and they come up with it. Justin Jackson, and we're going to get a foul. Off and running in the foul department again. Yeah. They are, man. She just came into the game, too. That's her first foul. He does. He has some JV girls. In, in oh, yeah, they can play. For the Buckeye. Yeah, they, they're scrappers. I think that was her, didn't it? Maybe that's a different one. Up. Nah, it looked like her. But she played some JV, so but she played all four quarters, so she would only have two. Cottrell has it. Kinsey, the shot from three land, in and out. Oh, man, I thought that was going down. Here we go the other way. Comes Christian with it. Back out to the point. Quick ball reversal by the Buckeye. Panthers and an errant shot, no good. Slow it down. Wow, yeah, that was getting a little out of control. Renate's 13 point lead right now, 540 to go here in the third. 28 15 is poke checked. This kind of lead here it is. Hopefully, they just make a make mistakes and gets fouls and just work on their foul shots. There you go. Another substitution is uh, number five, George comes in. For Buckeye. Kinsey will take it out for the Knights. Way out top to Jenna Anderson. Yeah. 
Kennedy Cottrell. Oh, good look down low. Jackson to Kendall Thomas. Kendall Thomas up and in. Good strong move. Good strong move. Good passes. Oh, nice job. A little late rotation there defensively, but then able to get the hand on it was Thomas. And the ball's on the ground. Somebody's got to grab it. What do we got? We're going to have a jump ball. As position arrow favors the Lady Knights, and so we'll retain it. Increase the lead to 15. We're 30 to 15 now. As Thomas will inbound to Kinsey. It's nice to watch the, these guys have come a long way. Absolutely. You know what I mean? It's nice to watch some crisp basketball, good passes, good shots, good defense, good patience. I mean, doing a lot of things right right now. Yeah, big difference from last year. Yeah. Definitely. It's like they worked really hard in the two practices they had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't need any more. Yeah. Right? Give him the rest of the time <laughs> off, coach. <laughs> All right, there's Kinsey to inbound to Thomas. Look, I ain't a man now. Look for that weave from the, from the Knights here to try and get some open shots as Anderson has it. I'll tell you, it's a good job, though, too. Oh, a little give and go. Nice job. Oh, good job by the Re Knights. Good vision. As Kennedy takes it up strong, a little too strong. It comes off the backside. No, and tracked down by, oh, good pass that time. Oh, right through her hands. I tell you what, this girl can play. She she is from the JV game, I'm telling you right oh, now. Number 30. Yes. Yeah, she was tough. And, and I'm trying to read the handwriting. It looks like Kandrak. Pam is her first name. But, but uh, I remember her from the seventh and eighth grade. She was she was tough then too. She she can play. She scored a lot of points in that JV game. That that pass right there, that cross court pass was right in front of us. Very nice. I'm not sure that Veluska was ready for it. It kind of went through her hands. As we have a timeout right now. I mean, uh, there are times to ride the wave and times to slow it down. Right. Yep. Yeah. So, like Coach Rusty sees it, he's he's calming it down, and yeah, and he got a nice little 15 point lead here. Keep working in for a quality shot. I believe that referee's Jose Davis. It absolutely is. I thought so. Give him a shout out. He's a good dude. That dude could sling the football. Man. Oh boy. <laughs> He can, he can get it. Yes, sir. Quality athlete. Yes. Long, long inbound to Jen, uh, Jackson. Gives it up to Kennedy. Contra on the wing. For the corner. Oh, left hand by Anderson. Just didn't go. Nice drive, though. Definitely, uh, she's got really good instincts with the ball. She does. All right, that's actually Buckeye's first point of the third quarter, which comes at the 339 mark. She makes the first. Plazeski makes them both. Thirty seventeen. Lady Knights as Anderson brings it down. Man, a little crossover dribble. She's got the lane. Wow. He went spread. And she does. Oh, man. I might even encourage a jump stop there. She, <laughs> she throws the, the left hand a little too strong. It's a, the opposite or the weaker hand, right? Not the dominant hand, but a oh, good box out by Ledick is the errant, errant shot. Almost got from the backside there as Ledick. Keeps her dribble alive. Nice little back and forth there. She's going to get a five second. Okay, she gets rid of it to Anderson. I'll tell you, they're clearing it out. I mean, 
They're just moving the ball well. They are. I'm telling you what, though, if Anderson could take that, they are so spread that it's nobody in the paint, nobody. As uh, Buckeye stays in that man-to-man -man as Jackson gets fouled on the shot. A little crossover, and it, that jump stop at the bottom there might help her out. It's hard to make that left-handed layup, especially with somebody on your back. As Jackson will go to line for two, try to extend that lead back to 15. First one off the front of the rim, no good. Another one coming up. Second one on the way, good stroke. Nothing but net, 31-17. 14 point lead as Buckeye races back down. Oh wow, good dribble drive, no good. Rebound on the backside by Long from Buckeye and she will get fouled and go to the line. Each team with three team fouls. I think that'll be the fourth on the Red Knights as they're gonna call that on Kennedy Cottrell, her second. First shot up and no good. Long misses the first, has another one coming. No field goals thus far for uh, Buckeye in the second half. Just in the two free throws that dropped. Second one up and good. So she makes one out of two. Back to a 13 point ball game as Riley Kinsey pressured in the back court as she brought the ball down. And here comes the weave offense. And here's Jackson. Oh, yeah. she was due, huh? Absolutely. Man, she's thrown some up and she drains it from three land. Jensen Jackson's first points are hurt uh, for her. Oh, no, I'm sorry. She made a free throw. I've seen her catch fire before. She, yes. She gets it, she can get it. That's her fourth point of the game. Here's Jackson again. Oh boy, did you just call that or what? Yeah, she gets going. <laughs> it's almost like double dribble. You ever play that Nintendo yes, game? Yes, yes. Uh, Listen, I used to play that at Marco's Pizza back in the day. She, huh? Yeah, I mean, my brother broke a lot of furniture playing <laughs> that game as kids. <laughs> As <laughs> there's a foul to play. Holes in walls and all kinds of <laughs> fist fights. Yeah. The old deal. Yeah. Ice, uh, yeah, double dribble. Get on, you get that, that right time down oh, and it was going yeah. every time, huh? <laughs> Make it from half court, like unrealistic <laughs> stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so Pam, and I can't read the writing there, but it looks like Kandrak, maybe. She is the... Makes the first one of two. It's just, they're they're going to be a team to be reckoned with in the next few years, too. Oh, yeah. Because they still got, you know. Yeah. They got a good core of girls. That She's a player. That are coming up as freshmen this year. And they do. She's a good player. And, then, and she plays hard. Oh, yeah. You know, so. aggressive. Buckeye going to come in uh, full court. Oh, good vision that time. Beat beat the press easy as Anderson has it. There's Thomas. He gets her pocket pick going the other way. Here comes Buckeye. Dish it out to Christian. Good we'll Give it go. Nice recovery by Kinsey to bat that one away. Good, good position, yeah. Yep, Red Knights up by 17 with a minute 17 to go here in the third. Buckeye. Looking to inbound it. Ooh, close to the five second call. Really close. Oh, good hands again. Here's Thomas with the bat away. Looking to take it in. She does strong to the hole. Ooh, just doesn't get it to drop as it comes up just a hair short. Rebounded by Buckeye going the other way. Errant pass, and now we're getting into that. We're getting that into street ball, man. Here, yeah. yeah, we're getting to that run and gun again. Kinsey left alone. 
Oh. oh. Drains it. Bingo. That's what happens. You get in that run and gun, somebody gets left out. Mm -hmm. Lose sight of somebody, and they're wide open for the shot, and they drain it. Red Knights up 20 now. Steal. It is a good steal. Here comes Jackson the other way. Going to get double teamed at half court. Picked Christian. They're going to get a, oh, she, they say she stepped on the line. I thought they called a foul on Jackson. But uh, no. So they, uh, Red Knights will keep possession here as we're looking to get some substitutions in the game. We got some people gasping. <laughs> <laughs> Right. You know, the gyms are always dry. It's yeah, dry yeah, throat. right. Yeah, it's that time of year. We get a couple substitutions. Hey, your daughter's in, huh? Oh, there yeah. we go. I, I better put my mask up. <laughs> you want me to turn your volume down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I put my headset on backwards. <laughs> so we got Reeves and Anderson checking into the game. Sure, she's she's nervous. Yeah. Well, and that's a big thing for kids. Sure, a freshman going into yeah, a varsity game. Yeah. But what great experience! Good yeah, job. Absolutely. Actually, it's a good time for Coach Hodgkins to put these guys in and get them some good, valuable minutes here. We're up twenty. You got them one point nine seconds left. Get some to understand the pace of the game. And absolutely, because you got five seniors playing this yeah. year, and you're going to need them. But even beyond that, as Lydic goes to the line for two, and she makes the first. Even beyond that, you know, these guys need breathers. I mean, you can't run for 32 minutes at that pace the whole game. Right. So you're going to need them this year too. Wow, nice stroke. Lytic makes both. No doubt about either one as the Knights now up 22 after three. Wow. Impressive. Very. Yeah, very. You said Buckeyes had, what, four or five games already? Yeah, I, someone told me they had four. I don't See, know. I originally thought that they were with the COVID problems and were shut down a lot. I thought so, too. I thought a lot of people were, but um, I think, who was it? I was standing over in the corner when I got there. I don't know if it was our AD, Mr. Farrell, who told me that. Said it was like their fourth game, I yeah. thought. Or if it was uh, one of our coaches or but nonetheless, um, I, th I know that this isn't their first. As the Knights, let me total this up here. The two three balls, big from Jackson. Missing a free throw. Who made a free throw? I know Lytic made. Lytic made, Lytic made two. Jackson made one. I'm trying to think who shot the other one. Did we have one more? I wasn't marking all of it. Uh, that's okay, though. Red Knights uh, outscored. Well, they only scored five that quarter. Buckeye. Yeah, those threes are huge. They are huge. But then again, this year they haven't really, you know, they ain't taking bad shots like they did last year. They're actually working the ball in. And yeah, they're getting good squared up looks at the hoop. There's your daughter. Look at her hustle. Huh? Let me turn, turn the mic down. All right, here we go. Good rebound. I'd like to see that in the JV game. Heck yeah. <laughs> There's Anderson. Does a nice job. She's going to be a good one. And she gives it up to Kenzie, ah. who's, oh, are we on fire right now? Yeah. Amazing. They got Whoa, good touch. Man. Three ball for Riley Kinsey. Good. And the track down again by Anderson. Nice job. Gets it to Jackson and quickly up the floor. Here's Lydic for a shot. Oh, they're going to give a travel. I think it was close whether she came down with it or not. She jumped. And at the last second, tried to release it. I know. But they said she it looked hit. looked like she kind of let go. It though, did. It did. I agree with you. It did. Yeah, props for the effort. Yeah. Curb, by the way. Back in the day. <laughs> yeah, I, I never had jumping ability. That's, that's, 
One thing I uh, you didn't ever was never, never blessed with. <laughs> Turnover here by the Panthers as your Lady Knights with a commanding lead, 45-20, up 25 into the fourth quarter here as Kinsey brings it down. Going to kick it out to Jackson. Oh, good hands by Christian from Buckeye. Coming the other way. Good jump stop. Kind of takes it strong to the hole. Doesn't yeah. make it. Good rebound by Jensen Jackson. Job, Jensen. Up ahead. Nice look. Here's your daughter. Come on, make the layup. Oh, oh she does not. No but foul, good. Huh? No foul. But Grounded. listen, that was good. It was good. Good effort. I probably won't even say anything in a car about that. <laughs> I'm sure you won't. <laughs> <laughs> I know she was nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. I tell you, you know, uh, we seem to have a pretty athletic freshman class. You know how, like in Toronto, it seems like about every four years you get a cycle of kids. That's right, right. And not the really boys, good. They, I think in all the whole freshman class. That's what I mean, girls boys and girls. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of talent, boys and girls. So, I just. Fun to watch him play. As uh, oh, there you go, good ball movement. Veluska makes one there in the paint for Buckeye. We got a quick timeout here. Six minutes to go in the game. Six oh two. But yeah, I mean, I think that uh, um, I, I just look at the football team this year and the mm -hmm. golf team and the volleyball team and and now the girls basketball. I haven't seen the boys play yet, but I mean, it just there's a lot of talent coming up. I think. And it's like the, the underclassmen are just stepping in like they've been doing it all along. Yes. They're not nervous and just, you know. Yes. You always tell your kids, they're, you know, they're going to make mistakes. You just got to learn how to rebound from it and you keep know, you, moving. you learn. That's right. That's right. But it just seems to go in cycles here in the little town, you right. know. You get about every four years an outstanding class of. Mostly you, you rely on one person to score all the time, and it seems like you, yeah. a lot of these groups now, everybody participates and everybody can Yeah, I mean, I'm looking, and, you look down through the book here, I mean, there's a lot of um, different it, people scoring no, for everybody's us. Everybody's involved. Everybody's involved. It's great. And so that makes your team so much better. Absolutely. You know, as uh, the Knights going to take the ball, it looks like uh, Panthers are going to come out in a full court press. They're going to be in a man press. Got some other underclassmen in right now. Oh, there we go. There's the other Anderson. Initially, I, I said that was uh, the sisters. Yes. Uh oh, that's going to be a backcourt. Errant pass that time by the Lady Knights, and that's going to go backcourt. Going to be a turnover. Either Where's way. It? Yep, the other way. Buckeye will take over. Quick shot, Christian. No good. Ooh. Rebound in the paint. We got a travel on Veluska. It's good to see you got some height on the team, too. Yeah. Yeah. Kendall. Sister, she's. Yeah, she's tall. Yeah. Maddie, she's. There she is there. Kendall's sister. <laughs> Another Thomas. She's taller than Kendall. I know. I mean, how many, we have two sets of, I mean, how many siblings do we have on this team? You got the Thomases, the Andersons? Yeah. There's a cousin and my daughter, no relation. Yeah, That's I know. A, <laughs> totally different. Yeah. Same name, no no yeah. relation. That's that full four Andersons on oh, the good, good rejection by uh, Thomas that time. As Christian tried to get a quick shot, gives the ball up to Anderson, to Thomas. Thomas dribble drive. Oh, nice move. she does that. That she has a, That's nice a good move. one. You know what I like this year better because I've mentioned it in the past in a few years. She she sometimes does that scoop layup, which I hate. Oh, does that girl play volleyball? <laughs> that's a nice little overhead. <laughs> well, she had that scoop layup where she would oh, start yeah. from the hip. It drove me nuts. Get the ball up. You know what I mean? But she, she, she's good at it, and there are times for it. But I've noticed this time she seems to be taking the ball a little stronger and higher to the hole, and she's got 
good good results from it. We got a tipped ball here. I think the Renegades going to nope. Going to turn it over. 47-22 here with 440 go 4:44 to go in the game. Your Knights up 25. As Buckeye brings it down. Oh, here's Veluska for three, and she hits it. For Buckeye, quick timeout. Full timeout. And she drained a much needed three. Damage done, though, in the second and third quarter for the Red Knights. Outscoring, uh, I was just looking at that. Um, by a lot. At 15, what, did, what was it, the half? It was 26 to 15. They were up 11. So they scored 10, and we scored 21. We outscored them so far by 21 in the second half. It's good rebounding on our end, too. Yeah, we're doing a lot of things right. I'm sure that they're going to watch game film and look at things right. they can improve on. Absolutely. You know, but I, I, I see a lot of good things we're doing, a lot of with the ball, without the ball, you know, the total package as Kinsey looks to get open as she does. But I don't, like you said, the biggest thing is I don't see a lot of uncontrolled panic right. play. Errant passes or Yeah, everything's shots. contained. Everything's measured. I mean, there are certain times we had that run and gun going, but right. most, it's not panic. It's control, you know. And I guess you would expect that with a senior starting lineup as Thomas just couldn't hold her foot. Couldn't hold the foot down. We'll travel and turn the ball over. I believe once they get more game, they're going to just get, get better. Yeah. You know, they keep, I, keep this pace up. Yeah. I mean, um, all five seniors on the floor right now for the Lady Knights. Oh, and who was that? That was number five? George drains a three. So now it's a 21 point, nope, 19 point game. 3.30 to go here. I would think the Red Knights are, I mean, there's no need to score unless you get an easy bucket as Jackson makes a nice backdoor cut, just couldn't finish. Ball tipped and now coming the other way. Here comes the Panthers and quick shot. No good as Cottrell battles for it, but the Panthers still have it. Here's Christian for three. And she hits it. I think we're going to get a timeout by Coach Hodgkiss here as, uh, you know, a few of those go in. You start to get a little nervous. <laughs> you, you do, right? We're down to, what, 16-point game now, so. A lot of time left. You, Yeah, you get that uh, a <laughs> little bit of butterfly there. I mean, you're, you're up 25, and then next thing you know, they make two threes, and you're only up 19. Get a little lazy. Thinks I've seen it happen. Oh, yeah, I mean. There's still three, three, three minutes to go. There's still plenty of time. You know what I mean? All right. Three oh nine. Yeah. So I don't get back to their game. Defense, box out, get rebounds. Just control the ball. Make them foul you. That's right. They went to that full court press, which we've handled. It hasn't been the press. They've made a couple shots, you know, and they were threes. All right. And nice job by Kinsey again. Good ball handler. I know. Uh, Not going to rattle the senior there. She's she's a good player. Michelle's come home from practices. That's basically what they work on a lot. The press? Yeah. But, you know, those underclassmen, freshmen, they've, they've never really seen a press like this. Not like right. the 7th and 8th. Right. So. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the Red Knights have done a nice job of beating, beating that press. As, uh-oh. A little trouble with the inbound. Here comes Christian the other way. 
See, the other thing that they're doing, too, they're getting these quick shots. They know they're down. Oh, good ball movement. Couldn't get it to drop, but good ball movement. Uh, last off the foot. Had to help out. I seen it. <laughs> I saw you point. Yeah, I was like, I seen it. I didn't think it was going to go the other way. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, good job. I saw the trap coming, and uh, here comes Thomas. Good dish out. Here's Kennedy. Nailed oh, it. yeah, nice shot. That's clutch. That is clutch. Back to a 21-point lead. Fifth, I'm sorry, 19-point lead. Quick shot that time. Reach side rebound. And quickly to the point guard, Kinsey. She'll bring it down. Here's Jackson for three. Ooh, no good. Here's rebound, Kinsey. With the putback just a little bit too strong, we're going to get a foul on White. White. They're going to call Kennedy with a push. That's her fourth. It's not going to matter, though, with only 2.08 to go in the game. Still has one to give. As yeah, you get five. You get five. That's right. Just don't use them up quick. Right. Spread them out. <laughs> Oh, good ball movement that time. And Beluska's starting to get hot from the three-point line. Nice Drains another three. There. We're back to a 16-point game. Quick timeout by Buckeye. Stop that clock. Can't take him home with it. You That's might as well it. use him, right? As they kind of... Scrapping their way back into this. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't no quitting this team, that's for sure. No, they're actually outscoring the Knights here in the in the fourth. For in sure. the fourth, yeah. All tied up in the first, and then the Knights outscoring them in the second and third. But it's been a little bit of Buckeye this fourth to get back in um, to the game a little bit here. 50-34. Minute 51 to go as Thomas will go to the baseline and take this one out. There's Kinsey getting. I mean, that's that's got to be a foul. Do. It is. I mean, but I'm saying even the cut, you know. Right. Riding it right. like secretariat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I think you could tell by the look on her face right now. She's, She's a little uh, mad about it. Yeah, yeah I agree. As we're looking to inbound, here comes Anderson to help out. Nice job. A little give and go to Kendall Thomas. We have not had a problem with that press. You do a good job. Oh, there you go. Anderson still with it at the point. Gonna little give to Kinsey there, a little handoff. Red Knights don't need to score anymore. That's what I like. I think we're going to play for easy. You know, Let's yeah. run the offense, get the wide open shot, or we just run the clock. Force them to foul. And one more, they're going to the line, so. Right, and I, I and I, I think at some point, their coach is gonna have to say you need to foul them. Nice Here, pass. Here's Jackson with it, goes up. It's gonna be off of Buckeye, kind of partially blocked there. <laughs> I don't and know. Red Knight, I know, and Red Knight said, well, he said it was. I'll, I'll, I'm going with <laughs> him, man. We're far away. I'm going with him, yeah. we're at the other end of the floor. Yeah. We don't need no technicals down here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah. Wide open. Jackson. Uh, she looks like she was going to pass, change her mind, and in the meantime, kept her feet going. She's going to travel and turn the ball over. But we're only down a minute five left. We're up 16. This game's pretty. Yeah, he caught a foul. He caught a foul. He caught it like a push. I don't know if he caught it on us. No, he caught it on them. Yeah, that'd be a one on one then, right? That's a one on one, yeah. So that's going to send Jensen. To the line, right? Or she, who they call it? It should have been. It on. should be Jensen going to. No, Riley. Oh, it was on the back side. Okay, so Kinsey will go to the line to shoot a one on one. All right. I'm with you. I thought she traveled. I, <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> but we'll take it as Kinsey hits one off the back of the iron. No good. Other way for Buckeye, coast to coast. Going to be a foul on Jackson that time. Hand straight up, but I don't have the um, ages of these guys, but I'm guessing she's a freshman too. She's a freshman. Yeah, so she's got to be, what, 15? Yeah. 
Like I said, in the next couple years, they're, they're going to be a, a solid team. Well, you see the spin on that ball, the yeah. rotation? Yeah. She can, she's, a, she's a good one. They're going to be a solid team. Makes the first, misses the second. Oh, quickly up ahead. Nice job. Here's Kenzie going to get picked from the backside. Christian quickly. Boy, she's quick. Gives it up. No good. A little strong. Weak side rebound by oh, Maddie. Maddie Anderson. Uh-oh, here comes Kendall. Dunk it! <laughs> <laughs> Kendall, easy uh, lay in. Using the glass. That, that makes the coach happy. Oh, yeah. Thought maybe she's going to dunk it. <laughs> <laughs> 29 seconds to go here in the game. Your Red Knights with a commanding 52-35 lead. And the opener against Buckeye Local as they get a late one in. And we're going to get another timeout. <laughs> well, I appreciate you having me on. Listen, I appreciate you, so I don't have to talk the whole time. <laughs> it's a little, little different in basketball than football, a lot of downtime and you know, the game's so fast-paced, so. Yeah, I appreciate you helping out oh, tonight. No problem, man. I might need you again sometime. You never know. Well, yeah, these seats, like I said, they're way better sitting here. Oh, man. Than it is up there. Absolutely. <laughs> and as the older you get. Yeah, I know. You know? You'd think with all that cushion I had, I'd be all right. But <laughs> Still not rough. So, not so much. <laughs> Still rough, yeah. Still got 20 seconds in this timeout, but the Lady Knights have played well tonight Absolutely. on uh, both sides of the ball. Very impressive. Very impressive. I agree. A lot of a lot of fundamentals done right tonight. A lot of good things to build on. Obviously, there's I'm sure some things they're going to see, but man, overall, I I I'm impressed with this team, especially for the first game. Yeah. I mean, it's just yeah, absolutely. It's they've always been, your toughest. And, and they've been through so much with this COVID oh, yeah. stuff, you know, not being able to get out there. I mean, it's got to be driving them nuts, but good job that time. As I mean, Anderson. you're you're in the school, so you see how well these kids handle the mask. I know it's a pain, but they've. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, they wear it. I mean, they know, and uh, they, they do a good job with with it. They really do. I, I feel bad that they've had a couple instances that forced them to stop. Yeah. You know, and not be able to play. But that'll do it as the buzzer goes off here. George J. Kunzler, your Lady Knights are going to win the opener. 52-37 over the Panthers from Buckeye. Again, we'd like to thank you for tuning us in. We'd also like to thank Jefferson County Cable, Foster Funeral Home, um, Clark Funeral Home. I'm trying to think of sponsors. I, I'm a little ill-prepared tonight, but... Uh, we certainly appreciate everybody tuning us in and uh, check the website for the next game. I'm gonna try Pope. We're gonna try and get a uh, broadcast list up and going. We didn't know with COVID how things were gonna go, so uh, keep tuning in to Toronto Red Knights basketball. Here we are gonna carry all the home games of both the boys and the girls, and we certainly appreciate it. We couldn't do it without you. Again, Mikey, thanks again for helping out no tonight. Problem. My pleasure. Again, from here, George J. Cooser Memorial. Your Lady Knights win the opener commandingly and take a one nothing record into their next game. Thanks for everybody here at the Toronto School System and, as always, the K-Knight Network. So long.